guys. So it is a, oh, I actually don't know. It's a Wednesday today and me and Mario are going to Trafford Centre. Um, we have a few returns to do day before the national lockdown. So we're going to go today because then we can't return anything. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to go out. I thought I was going to do neutral makeup, but then I was like, it's my last day out, you know, I'll just stick some lashes on. Um, but yeah, it was really funny because I woke up today and I was like, I have nothing to do. Um, like I have nowhere to go, like I'm gonna have such a productive day, I'm gonna do so much work, edit videos, um, because I have like a video deadline that I need to do. Um, and then Mari came in my room, she was like, oh, I'm going to travel centre today, and I was like, okay, I'll come with you. <laughs> I, I wanna go, I wanna go leave the house, and I don't wanna do work, so, yeah. That's where I'm going. I'm not sure about my outfit, it was one of those where I thought it would look really cool in my head so I didn't plan anything else and now I feel like I just have to wear this because we need to leave soon. I'll show you my outfit now. So I'm just wearing this headband that I literally got this from Asda. It was in like the school section, like the back to school section. Um, and then this shirt is like hang me down, it's Shuffle's old shirt, it's from Zara. Uh, this bag is also from Zara, it's really old. And then I got this vest top from Boohoo. I've just like pinned it up because it's quite long actually. Um, and then I'm wearing these flared pants. I'm really excited, my first time wearing these. Um, Mari wears hers all the time and they look really cool, so I'm excited to wear these out. They're just ribbed, you can't really see that. But I think these are from Misguided. Um, I'll link them down below if I can find that. I actually only bought the three pack of headbands for the black one, but I wanted to try the grey one on and I kind of like it. Um, my hair's a bit frizzy today, but we can allow it. Okay, once I got a comment, well, two comments actually telling me to brush my hair and I was like, I have brushed it. It's just frizzy. We're gonna go, really excited. I'll show you what I'm returning as well. So it's from Pull and Bear and it's just this leather skirt. It's actually really pretty, but I think it sits at an awkward length. I don't really wanna wear like tights or leggings with it because I feel like it might ruin the vibe of it. But um, yeah, it's really pretty otherwise. And I feel like if I got it in black, it would be a bit more wearable, but I don't even remember if they did have a black. first do a return then pull them back and then we kind of want to eat but i'm not sure i don't know what i want to we're eat. not hungry we just because it's the last day in it yeah. before lockdown zara everything's on sale we're so excited guys how cool does she look in this leather jacket we're at the self checkout what did we get oh. oh yeah so we got we're in pizza hut and we got a really cute table like, right at the back yeah you look really nice so i'll tell you what we got we got God. So we got yeah, um, we got quite a lot. Yeah, we got because <laughs> they have a deal on. Yeah, but we're taking it home to our dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got um, an original pan veggie pizza. Yeah, sharing. Yeah. <laughs> um, we got jalapeno poppers and mayo dip, and then onion rings with mm -hmm. tomato dip. Yeah. And then you flip over. Oh, <laughs> We got cookie dough, yeah. we got ice cream. Here's our veggie. Oh, thank you. Look at all our shopping. We have to take this all on the drum as well. Hi guys. So it is the next day today and I am going to give you a haul of everything I got yesterday. But right now, me and Mario are just shooting the outfits that I got yesterday. So I'm not going to show you my outfit yet. Um, I'm just waiting on her to get ready and then we were going to go shoot an outfit. Um, I really like the picture that we just took and now I just quickly got changed. I put a red lip on but I don't know if I am feeling it. I realised yesterday, I don't know why I forgot this, but it's bonfire night tonight and I'm so upset because like every bonfire night I just go out with my friends and it's always so much fun. Um, so like I was getting the memories on my snapchat of the last like three years and then I didn't even realise, like I was watching them and I was like oh I love bonfire night and I was like wait, it's the 5th of November. So yeah, 
it's just gonna be at home today i guess hopefully inshallah next year everything will be back to normal currently right now in the world the elections are going on in the usa um they're still being counted i didn't know it took this long to get counted i don't remember it taking this long yeah trump's losing i didn't expect that at all in my head it was going to be like the uk elections i just genuinely thought labor was gonna win and they didn't they like lost by so much and it was just really shocking so in my head that would happen in america as well i'm surprised that trump isn't winning but i'm happy for you guys um not that i don't even think biden's any better i think it's just like the lesser of two evils at this point i feel like nervous and like i can't imagine how people in america actually feel um but if you're american let me know if you voted i want to know i think it's interesting or i don't know just tell me if you're from america how are you feeling right now about everything yeah when literally you can tell this guy's white because i look white I don't know if that makes sense, but it's, you know, when it's a grey day and you look paler than you actually are. Oh my god, this is actually weird seeing myself white. Is this what I'd look like? That's crazy. So this is what I ended up getting when I went to Travel Centre with Maria. So this is from Stradivarius. It's such a beautiful cardigan. It looked so preppy and I was actually in the line. The queue was so long and I was in the queue. I was nearly at the front and then I saw this and then I just left the queue to get it because I... I just had to have it it's in a size small because it's quite oversized. So this is from Pull and Bear. I absolutely love this. And oh what size was this in it's oversized already size medium and yeah it covers your bum it has fleece inside a pocket and a hood like what more do you want from a basic black hoodie and then this jacket you would have already seen on my instagram it's from pull and bear and i got it in a size medium but i love it so much i can't wait to wear it out more currently friday today i just did my makeup i'm about to do my hair and get changed i'm going to the library today even though i really don't want to because it's raining outside um i'm going to my old university library just because the one that i'm enrolled at now is quite far away and i don't really want to travel right now um we'll travel that far anyway it's gonna get changed in some comfy clothes i did this i'm doing this new makeup look that literally takes like 20 minutes i'm actually gonna do a tutorial for it in this vlog i didn't want to make a whole separate um video for it because it's not very like revolutionary it's literally just like the most simple makeup um so i thought i'd put it in a vlog just because i think you guys are more interested in the products i'm using than the actual look because I'm sure just by looking at my face you can all recreate this. I'm going go through it now because I'm kind of in a rush. Um, just because I want to get there earlier. Because with all the restrictions at the library right now. Um, I think there's less spaces there or something. But yeah, I'm really excited to just go through all my work today. I'm so behind. I feel like I'm always behind. There hasn't been a point in my course so far where I've been like, yeah, I, I get it now. I'm on top of things. That's pretty bad actually i haven't vlogged in ages i was actually gonna take a break till december but i just really miss vlogging like i really enjoy it um i just like having loads of things to do because like i'm stressed now but like i miss editing videos like i literally love doing it um like to me that's a break from work like I can edit a video like right now I didn't have anything to do and I literally binge watched Keeping Up With The Kardashians I've never watched a single episode before like I what like I'll see it on TV and like I'll watch a few minutes but I watched season one to four on Netflix I watched it all in like a few days as well that's the thing like it wasn't over a course of like a month or something um but yeah it's actually really entertaining I'm not gonna lie like um, I enjoyed it and I kind of want to watch the rest now um, 
But yeah, that's what I've been spending my days doing. We are in national lockdown again, part two. All the rules are the same, I'm sure you know the rules. Um, if you live in different countries, let me know what's going on with you guys. Um, you did that for the first like lockdown video I made. I'll put like the thumbnail here. It's so interesting to look back at. It's really like crazy because it literally went from me being oblivious to the start of the video of to us being like in a national lockdown by the end of it but yeah in that video all of you guys like commented what's like the restrictions are in your country and i really enjoyed reading it so let me know if you want to what's going on where you're from and i'm gonna get changed hi so this is my outfit it's not exciting at all it's just this two-piece set from stradivarius this color is so in right now so i really like this um and yeah i'm just really comfy it's a zip up hoodie um and this is what my hair turned out like um and now i'm gonna put my huge puffer jacket on and i'm gonna go and it's raining and i really don't want to go outside but you just have to um but this is my outfit with the coat on i know so cute um but i just have this hood on because this one literally drowns me wait i'll show you like i can't even see when i have it on so yes guys i was just about to leave but i got such an exciting package in the post and i had to share it with you guys nominal order i'm actually working with nominal on instagram not here but um i wanted to show you how beautiful this packaging is and um a little note and then it comes with everything that's wrapped in its own bag i'm excited to style everything and take pictures for them but yeah they've been so nice to me so far so um yeah, I just want to show you that. Should I show you the actual pieces? That would make sense. Okay, I'm going to unwrap everything and then show you guys. So, um, over here, they gave me like a little Pakistan collection. It's such a cute gift as well. Um, I think I'm going to wear like a shawar kameez when I take a picture of this. It's only right, I have to do it. Um, and then here's a little flower collection. And then I have a hoodie and... Um, why is this not focusing? My camera's dying, guys. <laughs> Hi guys, so it is Tuesday today and I'm gonna try my hardest to vlog all day today. I know I've been really bad at doing that. Um, but yeah, I don't know why, what's wrong with me? I literally can't vlog anymore, but I'm just gonna make myself some breakfast. And then I have a meeting today at 3.30. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have some porridge and raspberries and then obviously my huge cup of coffee. And I hope we have raspberries anyway, oh we do. We do, I have to have porridge with like fresh fruit on it, otherwise I don't really like the taste. And I don't want to put sugar in it, you know? And this is the porridge I have, the oats one. I just put it in the microwave and I put like um, milk in it. I've seen people put water in their porridge and I just, I couldn't do that. I literally could not. I've got my porridge here and my cup of coffee and I'm just at my desk and I haven't cleaned it since yesterday which is a bit gross but um, I'm just going to eat this and then I will tell you what I'm doing for the day because I don't want my breakfast to get cold. My house is so freezing so if I don't eat this in like the next two minutes it will be ice cold so I will be back. I just finished my breakfast and I'm watching The Crown. I literally just started watching it. I'm still on the first episode. The episodes are really long. Um, I've got like 15 minutes left. I was about to say like no spoilers, but I already know what happens. <laughs> did anyone else go through like a royal family? Oh, that's my cat in the back, by the way. Um, did anyone else go through like a royal family phase where they just researched like everything about the royal family? Um, in particular, like Princess Diana and everything that happened with her. Because I went through like a crazy phase and like I always read about the facts and stuff. Um, and I know that one of the facts is that they have to travel with like a black outfit just in case one of their family members dies. And it was for this reason that I literally just watched um, when the king died and Queen Elizabeth didn't have a black dress. And then they made that rule, fun fact. Um, but I'm so excited for Princess Diana to come into it, um, as you guys know. I'm brown so I love her. I think it's just a rule, like you have to love her. Um, I remember when I was in primary school, we had like this project, I forgot what year I am, maybe I was in year five or year six, I don't remember. 
but we had to write about like an influential famous figure and I was like to my mom, well, who should I write about? And she's like, Princess Diana. <laughs> she even she didn't even pause to think. She was like, you have to write about Princess Diana. And I was like, okay, I don't know who that is. But so yeah, I did all my research and then I named my project the Princess of the People. I know, so original. Um, but I think it's just like an ethnic parent thing to love her. I was just thinking about that. And I just wanted to know if anyone else went through that phase. Maybe it's like a British thing. Oh, let me tell you what I'm doing today. So I have a meeting at 3.30. Um, I did all my work for it yesterday, but today I have to do more work because I have another meeting sometime this week. I haven't scheduled it. Um, it's university stuff. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to do that now. And also I need to do my makeup because I have to take a picture for Nominal. I think I showed you the jewellery. Um, I'm gonna wear shawag beads, which I'm really excited about because I haven't worn one in ages. So, um, yeah, and I'm gonna show you guys, I wanna show you guys me doing my makeup. By the way, I'm in my guest room. We'll show you guys me doing my makeup because I think I already mentioned it. Um, a few people asked. I'm not gonna be like, so many people asked because it was only a few people, but I always try to incorporate things that you guys ask me to do in my vlogs. Um, and if you don't want to watch it, feel free to skip, I don't mind. But I will say that I have perfected the perfect base. Everything is drugstore, I think one or two products aren't, but everything is so affordable. That's why I really want to share it with you guys. Okay guys, we are going to do our makeup now. Basically, I always start off with this. It is a sunscreen. I got it at the start of the first lockdown, so I've nearly finished. It is the La Roche Posay ultra protection ultra resistant sunscreen i will leave a link to everything down below um but i love this stuff i already have it on i wait a few minutes just so it um sinks in and then this is my secret weapon i have been using this since college or high school is the dr organic vitamin e pure oil and i rub this all over my face um i really like that it's not expensive at all because i know a lot of oils like or just really good face creams. They're so expensive. Um, and I really wanted the Kiehl's oil for a very long time. But everyone always says that, oh, your skin gets like addicted to it and you have to keep buying it. Um, and you know what? You girls have got the money for Kiehl's. We also need to go over Maria's birthday present. because well, She's not here, I don't know why I'm whispering. I get so excited because I love buying her presents. Um, actually, I don't know if this is going to go up before her birthday. Maybe I shouldn't talk about it. I mean, there's not much. She's written a list, so I'm just going to go off that. But I have a few like personalised things I'm going to get her, which I'm so excited about. Um, she's kind of a nerd, so it's really easy to get like personalised things for her. Um, oh, I forgot to say what I'm using. So this, another lifesaver. Um, I don't know how I lived without this. It is the LA Pro Conceal. Um, it's like um, a corrector. This is amazing if you have really bad under eyes, circles, like dark under eyes or pigmentation. So that's, <laughs> it looks really funny, I know. Um, and then I use this brush that I literally got from Primark um, and I just buff it all out. So I know a lot of people says this does nothing for them, like and Mari used it once and she said it made her concealer really orange um, and I know Shopper doesn't use it so I don't know but it really works for me, um, I barely sleep, I think if you've been following me for a while you know about my sleep issues um, and then this concealer is my favourite, I've tried, tried the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer I've tried NARS concealer, but this is literally the best. It's Maybelline Fit Me and it's in the shade 30. Um, I got Shuffle obsessed with this as well. She's like, it's just darker than my actual skin colour, as you can see. Maybe you can't. This washes me out a lot. Oh yeah, there, you can see. If you've been watching me for ages, you know this is my go-to foundation. I live for this stuff. Winter shade is shade 4. If you haven't heard me talk about this, it is the best if you have an olive undertone or like a yellow undertone it's just so good for brown skin colors because it doesn't i know with a lot of drugstore foundations if you buy a darker shade it doesn't have that yellow undertone in it um and it just kind of ends up making you look very dull um and i really don't like that just blending that out with this brush here 
honestly these pictures are gonna turn out so crap because it's so gray like the sky is gray <laughs> i can't see any it's just clouds kind of suck oh and the trick is don't blend out your concealer yet because we're gonna leave that there for like two minutes that is like the biggest hack just to leave your concealer i never used to do that okay um my camera just died but basically i blended in the concealer and that's what it looks like i feel like if i didn't leave that for two minutes it wouldn't have the same results um it just looks very full coverage take the leftover foundation i had and put it onto my eyelids and i'm actually not gonna um put any eyeshadow on that's like my new thing because honestly like it just took so much time and i can't be bothered so i don't know if you guys remember who did my makeup on zareb's wedding but she's called sara she did such an amazing job she's so talented um and she asked me to do a little photo shoot with her um soon and she just sent me um, these bridal outfits and they were absolutely stunning and I'm so excited it's in like three weeks I think um, so I'm trying to get like my skin nice and I've, I'm eating like a bit more better because I've been eating so badly um, not to like I don't want to like get skinny or whatever um, I've just been eating so badly like I think I had three takeouts the other week like in a week and I never do that and I just felt really gross afterwards so yeah just in that sense like and i think it makes my skin really bad as well so i just want to like eat good for a while so for eyebrows i've literally gone off eyebrow pencils and gels and stuff i've literally just gone back to using eyeshadow and i just put it at the ends of my eyebrows um i don't even like using black because i think it's way too harsh but literally just put it at the ends and then i put whatever's um left over on my brush i just kind of brush it through the heat is anyone still watching this bit of the vlog i'd love to know i think the last time i vlogged like america didn't even have a president i think the elections were going on that was that seems like a lifetime ago and now i'm gonna go in with my powder and this is the product that like changed everything for me i can't live without this it is the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish skin perfecting micro powder and it is in the shade two medium um this is like one of the more expensive things i use in the in my base but honestly it is so needed and then i'm gonna use this morphe brush it is the Morphe M450 brush. I love this. It's like a mini powder brush and I use it under, well, I use it all over my face. And then because I'm not wearing eyeshadow as well, I kind of just use this as my eyeshadow and pat it on to set the foundation that I put before. And now we're going to go in with another powder. I'm going to use the Revolution Luxury Powder in Banana. I love this stuff. I've had it for ages. It will last you so long, guys. I just pat some out. I got the end of my beauty blender and I will just bake. I don't bake for that long and with mascara. You can use any mascara for this because I'm not even going to curl my lashes. If you want, this isn't necessary. You can add some contour as well. Um, I do this sometimes, but not all the times when I do this look. Um, but <laughs> I don't even know. The Revolution Mega Bronzer in the shade 2, Warm. Um, I use bronzer as contour. I just think it's a lot more warmer. Okay, I'm so sorry my camera died and I used my NYX Dewy Finish um, setting spray. I've been using this for so long uh, and it just, you know, gives you that dewiness that you want. And then for my lips, I get this question all the time and I do switch up. This is like my go-to lip at the moment. It is the NYX. I love NYX lip products. They are the best. This is the shade Urban Cafe. It's quite dark. I outline my lips with that and then I use the Kiko. Oh, who's here? The Kiko lipstick. Oh my gosh. Oh no. <laughs> the shade's gone. Oh, how am I going to rebuy this? I'm nearly finished. I have one very similar and it is the MAC lipstick Mocha. This is in the shade Mocha and they're quite similar. I'm nearly finished on this as well. I'll show you. Hold on. I mean they're not exact matches okay so max is a bit darker actually than the kiko one i'm not finished i put the nyx abu dhabi on top i love this it is so nice um and then i usually put my nyx mad line on top it's like a lip gloss i love that 
um but i don't know why it is so i just used this kiko one and it is the 3d hydra lip gloss in the shade four on and that is my finished makeup look um i really like this it doesn't take me long at all it just looks very simple um i just love that i don't have to curl my eyelashes or put eyeliner on or do eyeshadow like that's the things that take me the longest now i need to get changed um i need to iron an asian outfit so this was my setup for the pictures honestly they weren't amazing because the lighting's really bad but i'll show you my schwark music so this is what i wore honestly i have no idea where it's from i'm pretty sure it's my mom's but I had to show this necklace, it's like a Pakistan flag. And now I have to quickly get ready for the meeting. I have to quickly go get changed for the meeting and get some stuff sorted for that. And it is in 20 minutes. I just finished my meeting and it went really well um, I think I'm gonna do the work that I got from the meeting like the tasks that she sells now um, and then for the other one it's either on Thursday or Monday so I have a bit of time but I have some lessons to plan I'm so excited I'm really excited um, I have another girl that I'm working with it on so I'm gonna try and plan like have an idea of what I want to do and then um, have a zoom call with her so we can discuss it guys so it is the next day today and i'm really excited today because i'm just taking outfit pictures all day i am working with hollister which i'm really excited about it's over on my instagram um so but i thought i'd take you like behind the scenes today um they sent me loads of new pieces from their new collection they let me pick it out um, and I'm really excited because it's very creative. I love when I get to be creative when I'm working with brands. They told me to create a like casual outfit, um, a going out outfit, like just casual with your girls and then a night out look. So I really got to um, make my own outfits and I really love doing that because you guys know I started this channel making lookbooks and I love putting outfits together. It's like my favorite thing to do. I'm glad I got to do it with a really cool brand. So that's what I'm taking pictures for today. And then I have another outfit to take as well. Just a long day and I mean, it literally just stopped raining. It's meant to be raining all day, but it just stopped now. So I'm waiting for Mari's lecture to finish and then she's gonna very kindly help me out. But look how cool my first outfit is. I literally love this. I'm so cozy. I know I'm gonna wear this to death. I've been watching The Crown on Netflix. I told you guys about it yesterday, but I'm addicted now. Like before I was just like watching it. I was just getting into it, but now I'm like fully invested. I even watched it whilst I did my makeup and I hate watching things when I do my makeup, so. I realized yesterday I told you that I had like, um, a phase where I was like obsessed with finding out things about the royal family I feel like that made it sound like I like them basically went through like a conspiracy theory phase where I just looked up so many conspiracy theories I went crazy and a lot of them were to do with the royal families you know I don't want to get kicked off YouTube so I'll keep that to myself my outfit and a very cool jacket I'll show you the jacket later oh the sun's so out i need her lecture to finish this oh ignore this ugly bag um this is the jacket i'm wearing with it i'm gonna zip it i'm gonna unzip it when i take the picture but it's just such a nice outfit and i am eating some bread what's it called when there's like chocolate inside there's a name for it i just can't remember hey guys i'm back home and we got really cute pictures i'm really happy with them and I went to quality save as well because I needed to get some things for home. They had the cutest pyjamas there. I know, I know they always usually have pyjamas but they're never this cute. So I ended up picking this velvet set. It's like this crushed velvet pink, baby pink. How adorable is that? And this is what I'm most excited about. Does this not look like a Victoria's Secret pyjama set? And the best thing is it comes with a matching headband. Are you joking? I had to get this. I'm so excited. Um, and then I got this plush set is actually from Maria and then I got her the matching pyjamas so we can match but I thought that was really cute and I think they were around £13 each so yeah I thought they were really cute and I would share that with you guys 
Mario's friend just dropped us off to the park, so that is great. We are gonna take some pictures here. I'm in my dungarees. <laughs> Mario, do you wanna give us an outfit of the day? I love your outfit um, so much. I'm just wearing this hoodie. Oh, it's a bit dirty. From Can't see it, yes. yes. Um, I love how oversized it is. Mm -hmm. And then these um, flared pants from Miss Selfridges. You pull off flared pants so well. Thank you. Like They're you look so very comfy. cool. Yeah. Um, and then trainers are, I don't know. Our trainers are getting ruined. Yeah, my trainers are getting ruined. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful day, blue sky. And we're gonna walk back home and we have one more outfit. Two more outfits to go. Love this weather, it's my favorite weather. I don't know, I'm really cold right I'm, I'm feeling great. Kisses. Hey, I'm back home now. We have finished taking pictures for the day. Um, I love the weather outside right now. It's so perfect. It's not, it's like windy, but it's not rainy. So it's like a nice autumn day. I need to do my work now. I need to take off my makeup and do work for the rest of the day. I need to catch up on everything. And as usual, here's a picture of how messy my bed got, but I will um, spare you the montage of me cleaning it up. Missing someone, missing someone.